In this video, we're going to graph a histogram and a box plot on the calculator. We're going to use the same data that we were using earlier, the ages of the presidents when they died. So into list one, I've got all those ages. And then I'm going to hit stat again and go over to calc so that I can get my one variable statistics. So remember that we use one variable stats. We've done a video on that one already. And when we hit enter there, it asks for what list we put our data in, which was in list one. Uh, we still are going to leave our frequency list blank because we have each president listed individually. We don't have them grouped together. Then we're going to click calculate. And that gives us a mean of 70.4. So the average age when presidents died was 70.4 years. We get a standard deviation there of 12.19. We scroll on down the list, we find that the youngest president to die was 46 years old. The first quartile is 63, the median is 69, the third quartile is 79, and the maximum is 93. I want to especially use the minimum and the maximum, looking at that range, to help set my window when I do my graph. So I'm going to do 45 and 95 because that's just a little bit below the minimum and a little bit above the maximum, so I know everything will fit inside my window when I do that. So I'm going to hit second and y equals to go in to do the stat plot. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to turn plot one on. And then under type, I'm going to scroll over to the third one on the list there on the right side, which is the histogram. Notice when I hit enter on the histogram, it changes my x list y list to be x list and frequency. And again, we've put all our data into list one, and we're not changing the frequency on that, so everything shows up exactly once. So now I'm going to hit Windows so that I can set my window. And again, what I mentioned, I used the 45 and the 95 because those give me enough room in the window to see all the president's ages without giving me a whole lot of extra space at the ends. Another reason for 45 and 95 is because those two numbers work so well together that it gives me a range of exactly 50 so that if I set my X scale at 5, that means that my each of my columns are going to be five units wide. So from 45 to 50, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, etc. With my Y values, I'm going to set my Y minimum at negative one so that I have a little bit of space under the bottom of the graph so that I make sure I can see everything. I'm going to leave the Y maximum at 10. If I need to go back and change that, I can, but I don't think I'm going to have any presidents who are more than 10 presidents who are died at the same age. So when I look at my histogram, I get a pretty nice spread. Again, I've got from 45 to 50, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, etc., all the way up to my last bar is 90 to 95. Now I'm going to put my box plot on top of this same graph. So I hit second and stat plot again so that I can now go to plot two. I'm going to turn plot two on and I'm going to go over under type this time to the box plot. I have two different box and whisker plots available there. I'm going to pick the first one because the first one will indicate if we have any outliers. If I don't choose the out, or if I don't want to indicate outliers, I could have chosen the second one. And if there are no outliers, they would look exactly the same. So now you see from this graph, I have my histogram at the bottom, I have my box plot at the top, and now I can actually do my description. So if I were to describe these, the first thing I would want to talk about is the shape. And I would definitely say that the shape of my histogram is roughly symmetric, even though I do have a couple extra or a couple extra presidents in each of the two ends. For example, I have a couple presidents who were assassinated, so they died very young. And then I also have presidents in the upper end who lived to be a little extra long. So I have um, both Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan lived to be 93 years old. So there's a little extra in that upper box that wouldn't necessarily have been in a regular graph. And then I can also match up the centers. If you notice the median up there in the box plot is almost exactly in the middle of this graph. And that does match up very closely to my... Um, mean. Our mean was 70. So our mean and our median are both, both very close together, which is again a very good thing. And then thirdly, I would look at the spread. And if you remember, the standard deviation on this was a little bit over 12. And if I go from my mean of 70 and go up two standard deviations, that would take me up to 94, which is enough to get all the presidents in the upper direction. And if I go down two step standard deviations, 70 minus 24 gives me 46, which is exactly the youngest president. So I can get everything within two standard deviations. So these are really close together. And then the last thing I would look at is if I had any outliers. 
And since I did the box plot that included the outliers, there are no outliers up here, or I would have had stars to indicate that. So when I look at those things all together, I would say that this set of ages of the presidents when they died is probably what we would consider to be approximately normal. It's not exactly normally distributed because it's not entirely perfect, but it's really close, and I would call this to be approximately normally distributed.